little owls and welcome back to my happy place. Today I'm super excited to finally be going over the new Huda Beauty Foundation and Jeffree Star's Blood Sugar Palette. Ah! We're gonna make a nice red eye look today. So if you want to see how these two perform, just keep watching. Okay, so I already started with the base of my eyebrows and a light concealer over my color corrector because my dark circles are pretty bad today. So we're going to jump right into the new Huda Beauty foundation. I got the color Creme Brulee. This is very yellow undertone, so oh, I'm pretty excited to see how this works for me because I am really yellow. And most foundations I get in the neutral range tend to come out a little too orangey or pink for me. And yeah, it's really hard for me to find something that's like generally like yellow. So I'm going to do everything as normal. I'm going to start with my damp beauty blender. And we're just going to jump right in and see how we feel. This smells really, really good. Like, I kind of want to eat it. Oh my god. It is, like, scented. It's kind of fruity florally I don't even know how to describe it I am super smell sensitive okay like side note this right here is my most hated foundation like you might as well go to Home Depot pick out some beige spray paint and spray that all over your face because that's what this smells like I hate 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 strong scented foundations but this smells really really good This is definitely more on the full coverage. It's kind of medium to full coverage, I would say. It's not quite as full coverage as a Joy foundation, but I like that because the Joy one is so cakey because of how thick it is. This one's a lot thinner, but still has really, really full coverage. So the real test is going to be how the rest of my regular makeup goes on top of this and how this wears throughout the day with the primer that I chose. I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup base off camera and we'll be back to try out the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar Palette. Okay, now that we have the base of our face done, let's jump in and do the fun part. So just starting off, I have to say the packaging on this is really, really neat. It's something nobody's done yet. I like how heavy and thick this palette feels. It's not cheap feeling. It's kind of hard to open, actually. It's got like new car smell, kind of new car leathery. No, I really like the color scheme. This first row is very neutral, and then you jump into the reds and the colors down on these two bottom rows, so you can still make a neutral everyday eye look out of this palette, or you can jump into the, some of these bold colors and make a very bold, fun eye look. Now I'm not entirely sure what eye look I want to do today, so we're just going to jump into the colors that catch my eye the most and see what happens. I need to feel
that we got a completed eye look, let's pop on a highlight and an inner corner highlight and then we'll talk about the palette a little bit more. Okay, this is the only like major inner corner highlight color in this palette, so we're going to give it a shot. Let me do a nice gold. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. And I thought it was only right since we used the Jeffree Star palette. Let's pick a nice highlight too. I'm feeling something more gold. This color here, Sarcophagus in the 24 karat gold palette is honestly my favorite Jeffree Star highlight ever. If he could make this in a single pan, I would be so excited and I would definitely buy that. We're gonna take a big old fluffy highlighting brush and we're gonna jump into this Sarcophagus color. Now everybody's got that one favorite highlighter that just works so well with your skin tone and you have to tell yourself, no, don't bathe in it. Yeah, this is, this is my highlight color. <laughs> I'm gonna take a little bit of that underneath our brow bone. Now that we're extra glowing, I'm just going to take a little bit of this gold one and pop that in my inner corner as well just to make this pop a tiny bit more. Looking like a shiny glowing goddess here. So final thoughts on the blood sugar palette. I am really impressed with the pigmentation of this palette. These colors are so pigmented. But I would like to add that these colors here, these neutral good crease colors, come out a lot more pink than they do nude or tan in the pan. When I put them on my eyes in the beginning, like you saw, it was very, very pink on me. But the color payoff on these is, whoa, I was so impressed. I layered multiple colors on top of each other. I didn't use concealer to cut crease. I just put this light pink on top and it showed up so well on top of a dark red that I was actually really, really impressed. I so recommend this. This is one of my favorite highlighting palettes. Now this particular one is a little bit dark for my skin tone, so I use this as a blush and then I top this one off as a nice shiny bronzer. So there's other ways to use it instead of just a complete highlight palette. Now before I run off and say bye to you guys, I thought we could finish off our look with one of these red lip colors. Now I'm torn between three colors for this look. I can't choose between Calabasas, Red Rum, or Unicorn Blood. Oh, I think the pink, let's swatch them on the back of our hands. I think the pink would look cute because of the pink on. Oh, I think this one would look really good with the eye look, but it's not super red. can't decide which one to do. Alright, I'm torn between Unicorn Blood and Calabasas. I could mix them and ombre my lips, but I don't know if I want to do that since I kind of did two-toned eye colors. Do I want to do two-toned lip color as well? Let's just be bold and we'll go with the dark one if we don't like it. We'll wipe it off and put the lighter one on.
So here is Red Rum. Now I really, really like the lip color, but I feel like it takes away from the eyes. And it's a little bit more red than the eyes are. It doesn't really match in my opinion. So we're going to take this off and try Calabasas. Much better. I like this a lot. All right, everybody, and that completes today's look, trying out the new Huda Beauty foundation. I gotta say, I really, really like this. I love the smell of it. The finish of it is so nice. I am definitely excited to see how this holds up in a little bit. Now, as far as the palette, I have to admit, even though I'm the biggest Jeffree Star fan, I am really excited to play around with some of these bright red lip colors. I have the Nude bundle and I love it to death. Jeffree Star's lip products are awesome. They sit very comfortably. I have really naturally dry lips and they're just very comfortable, long wearing. And we topped everything off with a nice highlight. Sarcophagus is my absolute favorite Jeffree Star. Please, please, please make that into a single pan. I would buy the crap out of it. But all in all, I'm pretty happy with how today's eye look turned out. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And as always, if you had a good time hanging out with me, hit that thumbs up button. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you can see my next video coming out in just a few days. Bye, guys.